Hello everyone and welcome to Motion Hub. Three years ago, I did a typewriter tutorial in After Effects. I received many comments asking for custom functionality. In this tutorial, I will try the solutions to most of the comments and we will add more extra effects to the project. So let's begin. Let's start with a new composition. We will choose the HD preset 25 frame per seconds. Set the duration to 6 seconds and then hit OK. Let's add a new text. Let's align it to the center. Open the text layer. With the Alt key pressed on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch next to the source text to add the expression. You will find the expression in the description of the video, just copy and paste it there. Now, right click, choose a new adjustment layer and hit enter key to rename it. Let's call it Control Panel. In the Effect Controls panel, right-click and choose Slider Control from Expression Controls. Hit Control plus D to duplicate the effect two times. Hit Enter key to rename the first slider to Speed. This will be the cursor blinking speed. Rename the next one to Start at. This is the time where the typewriting effect should start in the timeline. The third will be animation where we will control the animation. Let's add another slider and call it Highlight Word. Lock the Effect Controls panel. Select the Speed Word then pick the Speed slider. Select Start At and pick the Start At slider. Now select Animation and pick the Animation slider. Let's set the cursor blinking speed, I will rename it first to blinking speed. Set the value to your desired speed. Set the start at to 1. Now click on the animation stopwatch and set a keyframe, then drag the timeline to 2 second and change the value to reveal the full text. If you want the text to stay, add another keyframe at current time. At 4 seconds add another keyframe and set it to 0. Select the text layer and duplicate it using Ctrl D. Open the text source text on both layers, then pick the source text from the first one. While the first text layer is selected, double click and write your text. On the second text layer, click on Animate Arrow then choose Opacity. Open the Animator 1 Range Selector. Set the End to 1. Expand the Advanced Options and change the Units to Index, based onto Words. Pick another color to highlight the words. Set the Smoothness to 0 and the Mode to Subtract. Be sure to change the End in the Range Selector to 1. Set the opacity to 0. Now with the Alt key pressed, click on the stopwatch next to Offset and pick the Highlight Word slider from the control panel.
then add minus 1 after the expression. You can now select the highlighted word by changing the slider. If you want to add a longer text with a different size, double click in the first text layer and write your text. Change the font size and align it center. Now, select the second text layer and align it too. Be sure they have the same size. To change the cursor, open the source text expression. Then, change the cursor between quotation marks to any character. Now, let's make the LED effect. Right-click and choose New Solid. In the Effects and Presets, choose CC Ball Action. Set the ball size to 120 and the grid spacing to 4 or 3. Again from the effects and presets, choose tint. Then, add curves. Change the curves to something like this. Hide the solid layer, and then select both text layers and pick the track mat. Click here to switch to alpha mat. Let's add a background. Right click, new solid and choose a color. Select the first text layer and add a glow effect. Set the glow radius to 19 threshold to 89. Select the glow effect and copy it Ctrl C and paste it in the second text layer. To write multiple texts, add a new composition. I will set the duration here to 20 seconds. Drag your text composition to the timeline and then duplicate it and change your text. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update from Motion Hub. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.